Hey everyone, it's Dr. S'mores here with a, another um, fight stick kind of review slash mod. This is the Razer Aatrox um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z version edition. And just a FYI, I've already kind of passed on this one. I, I got it, I messed around a little bit, played some games, kind of played a while, modded it a little bit, and then eventually just kind of decided to sell it. Um, and I'll explain why a little bit later. But this unboxing is going to kind of go over the... <laughs> you see my, my cat there, Professor Chaos, is already excited to play with it. Um, I'm going to go over the sort of unboxing features and then talk a little bit about what's inside. And then ultimately why I decided to kind of move on from it. So it um, is the Xbox version, of course, which is the version that this comes in. Uh, well, I have an Xbox, that's the version I purchased. And when it comes, it comes in this beautiful box. It's, it's nicely wrapped. It has this, this, um, this plastic covering over it. The first thing I did notice, though, is that the case itself, which is orange, unlike the regular version of the Atrox, which is black, and then the Pantera uh, Sony PlayStation version, which is also black, the, this case felt kind of flimsy when you open up the box and you kind of get inside the side panels bend and wobble fairly easily. That's actually one of the reasons I, I wasn't really happy with it. And from what some people have said is that they, they did not have that issue with the other versions, but this one I guess for some reason is maybe a little bit lighter. And then the image, which is great, right? It has this, this vinyl underneath the, um, it has a vinyl underneath the um, plastic there, is dull. It's really dull. It's, a, and I'm kind of highlighting this in order to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> But I wasn't that happy with it, to be honest with you. I thought, you know, if you're going to print this, <clears throat> why not pick a more dynamic image or more dynamic color? But that's just me. The uh, buttons are great, though, right? You have the seven-star Dragon Balls. Uh, seven dra the Dragon Balls up to, set, up to seven. And then you have that one button that doesn't have anything. The sad thing is, is that it doesn't tell you this until you really get it. You get up close, is that those are just stickers. And not only the stickers, but they kind of fall off pretty quickly. They're not even on there that well. I think I only got through three games before uh, that, that one star just kind of popped right off on my finger. Um, and you can see you have the side buttons here for the um, home and the options. And it has a nice sound one JFL lever, which is pretty good. I liked it. Um, and then it has right the port on the back. I actually like the connector. It's kind of like a plunge. You pull up on it and connect it so it doesn't come out. And then I think the biggest benefit is that rubber back. The rubber back is really nice. It sits. It's kind of foam, too. It's like a soft rubber, so it sits on your lap really well. But also, if you have it on a table, it doesn't move around, which is great. Opening it up is nice, right? You see that the, the hinge, um, and then... You have this wide open space. Everything's laid out. Everything's mapped. Everything's very clean. This is what I liked about this the best. It has a space for the ball top and the lever. It comes with a Phillips head and a flat head screwdriver, so you can do some of the modifications. And then you have um, the cord itself, which is wrapped up there to the left. And then all this kind of nice space. And in the middle there, underneath that plastic, is the, the logic board. The cord is nice. It's a fabric wrapped around, and it's very long. It's just 10 feet. So it's doable. It's, it's, it's perfect. I really enjoyed it. It kind of stays out of the way. It wraps up very nicely, fits right back in there very nicely. The one thing that I thought was kind of disappointing, though, is in the other versions, the Atrox and the Pantera version, the it comes with a separate bat top, so you can replace it if you don't like the ball top. I hate ball tops. I'm not a huge fan of them. I prefer bat tops. So it's kind of sad that it wasn't in there. Like, why not just add that? But this cord, you know, you see it has a nice kind of separator there. So if anything pops off, it's not going to pull right out of the back of the of the fight stick. Of course, you got the lever. And easy access to the buttons. I mean, getting the buttons in and out is incredibly simple. Uh, this is just a standard JFL lever. It has a, the, the square restrictor gate. A very light tension, um, which is something I was kind of surprised by. 
All right, so the one thing that really kind of pissed me off, I'll be honest with you, is that Razer was like, this is fully moddable, fully moddable, you can do anything you want to it. And the reality is that that's just not the case. I mean, yeah, you can. So you can get to the launch board, you can unscrew everything, get in there. The problem is, is that they've included this glue. They've, like, glued everything down. You can get the glue off, but it takes a while. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And you can see I already took the <laughs> I already took the ball top off and put a bat top on and then changed out some of the buttons here. Uh, kept the four-star dragon ball and then kind of kept this nice little layout, which I enjoyed. And then as you can see, I've swapped the square restricted gate for an octagonal one, just because I find it easier to play with. And like I said, modding and taking out the buttons is super easy. It's one of the things I like best about this is that they're easy to kind of grab. The tabs on the side are easy to hit and move. And then having the space for excess so as a separate ball top that I had previously that I've kept in there. Because sometimes I just switch them in and out depending on need. But... That's where I'm kind of going to end it in terms of the image itself. So here's what I didn't like. The case is flimsy. It's really flimsy. I really didn't like that. The glue all over everything was upsetting. It really made it difficult to, to get to anything important. Like if you really want to swap this out, you want to put, a, um, say, you know, a crown lever or if, say, you want to put a golden lever, you have to be willing to kind of scrape and get some of that stuff out of the way. Um, and then getting to the actual logic at board area is very difficult to get off. It's very difficult to get back in. And again, there's more glue everywhere. It's a kind of a pain in the ass. So say if you wanted to swap this out, if you wanted to put like a Brooks board, right, a universal board, you wanted to play this on anything, um, it, it, it's going to take you some time, and the modding is not going to be easy. It's going to be fairly difficult. And then ultimately, the problem is, is that it just um, it just didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. Sitting on my lap, even though I really liked the rubberized back, it was nice. It just felt off. It just felt like the case kept shifting and moving, and I just didn't like it. So I ended up going for something a little bit heavier, which is a video you'll see pretty soon. Um and then I ended up selling this one off, um, you know, keeping the modifications there. A friend bought it, um, who really liked it. Um, and maybe it's because I have a heavier play style, and he has a very light play style. I, I tend to be very, um, I tend to play heavy, so I tend to um, kind of squish things a little bit more than maybe they're intended. And I think the reality is that I just needed, uh, I just needed a, uh, uh, something that was a little bit stronger, maybe something made of metal. So, hope you liked that review. Hope you kind of liked the, the, the modifications. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if you have one of these and if you liked it.